Hi, welcome back. We are in the Tesla. We just got an update. It is 2023.26.7. It's huge. I had to make notes. We got lots of new features. This is not just a bug fix uh, 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 update. This has got lots and lots and lots of new features. It is awesome. I'm super excited. There are so many new things in here. Like I said, I had to take notes. This is going to be great. Make sure you watch to the end because there are things in this that will interest everyone. And there's one that's really uh, an important one, a good one that actually will literally affect every single Tesla. Well, they all will, but this one is a big one. So watch till the end and let's uh, get the camera turned around and we'll take a look here. Okay, so here's the screen. We've got the uh, release notes on here. So I'm going to take you in a little closer and show you uh, what we got. So as I said, it's 2023.26.7. So it says minor fixes. Now remember, I'm going to go over what I got that's new to me, okay? Because I didn't get these incremental ones, 2023.26 and all that. So I'm going to go over what's new to me. I'm going to go over everything and explain exactly what's what, okay? Um, so... Um, let's go down by these, uh, notes. Well, actually, you know what? I have notes. I'm not going to go by their notes. I'm going to go by the notes that are, that are, uh, that I have here. So the first thing is when you put on your directional, you can now move your blind spot camera to another location. You can move it here, here, here. Actually, there was supposed to be another location over there. I don't know why that didn't go, but okay. That's why you test, right? Um, there are more customizations for the scroll wheel. So if you go into the menu, there are many more options that you can choose in there. Okay. Uh, another thing is when you navigate somewhere, um, it'll tell you, I mean, obviously I don't have it, but if I were to hit navigate, it would tell you if the destination okay. is closing soon. Okay. So that's a new one. Just like when you use Google maps and it says this is going to be closing soon. It may not be open when you get there. That's now in this update. So they will tell you if the destination will be closing soon uh, when you navigate. Um, Spotify, if you use Spotify, uh, well, first thing, let me just show you something real visible. You see these blue dots? Okay, they've done this where now, wherever there's a new, something new or an icon has been updated, you're gonna get a blue dot to show that there's something new in there, okay? That's one of the updates. Um, but anyway, getting back to this, if you use Spotify, so you can see Spotify's got the blue dot, um, they've refreshed the way it looks. I don't have Spotify, so I can't show you that, but it's more familiar. It looks more like what it used to look. And by the way, now that I checked the new thing, the, uh, blue dot went away. So yeah, it's just a more familiar look and feel to your Spotify. Uh, number five is a huge one. Bluetooth controllers you can use to play games now. So if you go to car, uh, I don't know where you do that. There's supposedly a Bluetooth tab. Now, I don't know if I have it in my Model 3. Uh, I believe I do, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to figure that one out because they didn't give you instructions. Um, but you can use Bluetooth. They said play, PS5 controllers work the best uh, for, for Bluetooth to your, uh, to your, to your car. Um, <clears throat> in fact, it might be under, let's see, maybe it's under Arcade. Let's go to Arcade. Uh, let's see, is it under toy box, uh, colorizer boom box? No. Yeah. I'm not sure where you do the Bluetooth. Um, but I'm not sure. Uh, but I will say one thing is in arcade, we have gotten apparently a new game, I believe vampire, um, <clears throat> vampire survivors. I don't see it. So a lot of the updates that I've got listed here, I don't know why that they're not showing up, um, but maybe, maybe, I don't know why, maybe it's, I don't know. One is there's warmer display colors. So if you go in here and you go to display, um, you can hit reduce blue light, which will automatically adjust to warmer colors at night. So I turn that on. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. Obviously I'm going to want to see it at night, um, but it's something that, you know, I, I, I definitely am interested in. So, um, you know, I'm going to want to see, see that. Uh, another feature is whenever your windshield wipers are activated, it will automatically turn on your headlights. Now in New Jersey, that's the law. If your headlights are on, I mean, wipers on headlights on. So whenever you activate wipers, your headlights will come on as long as you have 
your automatic headlights set, okay? Um, another one, if you um, have a power wall, you can, there's a charge on solar option, right? So you can choose how much of your energy comes from solar um, when you, when you, if you have a power wall. So that's called charge on solar, okay? Um, another new feature is in the app, you can now view multiple cameras at once in the app, which is really cool. I'm gonna insert that here and show you how that works. Okay, so here's the feature where I was gonna show you in the app, if you hit live cameras, you can view multiple cameras all at once. Okay, so here are the cameras and the little grid icon in the, to the right of the front of the car is what makes you know you're in that mode. If you hit it, then you're only looking at one camera at a time um, instead of all four cameras. But if you hit it, you can look at different cameras, left, right, you know, and then if you hit the grid, the top left is your front camera, top right is your rear camera, there's me behind the car, and then the bottom, left and right, are the left and right side cameras uh, that you can see in your car. So this okay, um, let's see what else. There are a bunch of other little updates, so recent and favorites are now in separate tabs in the media player, okay? So if you go in your media player, which I'm not sure which one of these they're referring to as the media player. Um, I guess this. I only see favorites. I don't see recent as a separate one. So I'm not sure what they're referring to unless favorites. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it says recents and favorites are going to be separate tabs. Oh, this is a good one. Sentry mode will now record if someone tries to open a door or your trunk. It'll record that if someone made an attempt to open a door or a trunk. That will be recorded in your sentry mode. Um, so that's a really good improvement. I like that one. So you get much more info if there is an event. Um, owner's manual and release notes are now in the new manual app. Um, so if you go to the manual app, it's all new here. And this will show you your owner's manual is all new, all revised. Um, you also get your uh, release notes here. So you have your release notes for every single different update. Um, yeah, other updates, they don't really show. Oh, this is the ones I was, I'm just going over now. Um, so yeah, uh, Bluetooth game controllers. To pair, open the Bluetooth panel and follow the instructions. I have no idea where the Bluetooth panel is. So unless I don't have that in my car, maybe, I don't know, let's type it in. Yeah, I guess I don't have Bluetooth in my Model 3. My Model 3 must not have that. Um, but anyway, so you have a new uh, updated owner's manual with ha which has the release notes. Um, automatic navigation. So if you have automatic navigation set <clears throat> um, under navigation, automatic navigation, it will automatically route to your home, work, or next cal calendar event when you get in the car. Um, it will give you info about your destination, and then if you just put it in drive, put it in gear, it'll start navigating, or you can hit, you know, you can cancel it. There is now a Swiss French keyboard. That's another new op uh, uh, update, the Swiss French keyboard. So if you need that, you will have it. Um, one that's a huge one. Here's a big one. Phone calls. So when you receive a phone call, if you've got your, like, let's say, Let's say you've got your, um, your climate and the fan's real loud like this. When you get a phone call, it will reduce the fan speed automatically to reduce the cabin noise when you're on the phone. I think that's awesome. So you don't have to fiddle around with it. As soon as you answer a phone call, or I don't know if it's when you answer or when it rings, I'm, I'm assuming when you answer, um, it will automatically reduce the fans to reduce cabin noise. So that's a huge one. I really like that. Um, another update, when you're supercharging, it's now going to show you in the details screen of supercharging, it'll show you the price per kilowatt hour, as well as the total energy that you've charged. So that's really good. You can get a lot more information, see what you're paying per kilowatt hour, as well as the total amount of energy. Uh, another one. So I told you about the blue dots on the apps bridge whenever there's something new. That was another one. And then the final, this one is huge to me. 
I find this one to be huge, huge, huge update, which is the recommended daily charge limit is changed depending on your vehicle type and your type of batteries. Mine was always 90% and now you can see it's changed to 80%. So I'm going to reduce that. So my daily charge limit now is recommended to be 80%. So that's a really, really big update. That's going to affect everybody, every single Tesla. That's a huge one. So they're changing your recommended daily charge limit, okay? Maximum, the maximum. And this is based upon the vehicle and the type of batteries. So after you do this update, make sure you come in here and check because mine was still at the 90, which was the previous recommended uh, char daily charge rate. So make sure you check that uh, after the update, because otherwise it, you know, you may be, uh, you may be charging too much or more than they recommend. So that's all the new updates, a ton of them today. This is so much gr better than when we get those ones where they're just bug fixes. Fantastic. I love this. I love the one about the, um, uh, uh, the phone calls lowering the fan. That's a really good one. Um, I like the uh, the fact that I can do more customizations on my scroll wheel. I like that it's going to show me if the destination is closing when I navigate. Tons and tons of, of really, really nice updates. I really like the automatic headlights when the windshield wipers come on. That was one I had wanted for quite a while. Um, and not that I like it, but it's important to know about that daily charge limit is changed based on your car and type of batteries. So those are all the updates in this update, which is, again, uh, version 2023.26.7. Um, so, yeah, thanks to everyone for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.